What's poppin'? What's poppin'? What's poppin'? What's poppin'? What's poppin'? What's poppin'? Hey, what's poppin'? What's poppin'? What's hey hey? What's poppin'? What's poppin'? Hey, what's poppin'? What's poppin'? Hey, technically, so I can't gang. How you living? How you breathing? How you feeling? Listen, it's your girl Essence of Shay, and before we get anything started, I would like to thank each and every one of you guys for wishing me happy birthday. My birthday was May thirty first. I don't know when I'm posting this, but this is the day after my birthday, so we are officially in June. But it's still my birthday week. I don't know what I'm gonna be doing, but um, yeah, I just came from New Orleans. I went there for uh, to celebrate my birthday because it was Memorial Weekend, and yeah, it was a, an amazing time. I enjoyed every bit of it, and I was spoiled every bit of it, and I have nothing but god to bless um and thank you for um this year i'm gonna start crying oh i think that's why y'all like me because i'm really authentic and i don't be faking the funk like this last year has been overall a good year for me like yet yeah, there are some kinks and stuff that i needed to work out and still need to work out but on my 38th birthday that's how old i am i sat down majority of the day by myself and i just sat down and i just thought about where i was in my life at where I am in my life right now. And I realized that I was beating myself up instead of focusing on, yo, this is what I have. I'm surrounded by good people. God has removed who doesn't no longer serve me in this space in my life that he's transition transitioning me into. I have a supportive family, like for real. And I have a supportive online community. And where I am now, I need to focus more on the things that I'm grateful for and the things that I have. Because I noticed that I was con like I was fixated on the things that I don't have and that made me depressed. So I low key was crying on my birthday, but then um because it like I was by myself and like I had high expectations for what I thought was gonna happen on my birthday and then it didn't and then I had to realize like but this is the point of the video, right? The point of the video is that I have decided it's time for me to enter in my selfish era because for majority of my life, and it's sad to say at this age that I am now realizing it, but you guys are on this journey with me, my channel has always been like authentic, your homegirl next door, your cousin, your sister, whatever you call me. Um, and I'm not perfect in any way. I am a person who does have depression. I people please. And I, for a long time, put other people's emotions, feelings, values, everything above my own. And I feel like this is probably why I'm not in the position and where I want to be in life because of that. So I am dedicating my 38th year to being my selfish era. So <clears throat> is it raining outside? Um, but anyways, I wrote, I wrote down notes because not only will this help me out, but I'll say it to you guys and you guys can hold me accountable as well so 
let's get right into the video so this video is how to love yourself after years of self-hate and self-deprecation um like i said for a very long time and still now if i be honest i didn't really um i didn't really love myself i didn't value myself i didn't know what my worth was and in that i allowed certain behaviors from people i put too much expectation and value on other people i kind of diminished myself and <clears throat> i just wasn't doing <laughs> the right things so the first thing and after doing lots of research after watching a lot of videos after reading books after talking to god talking to my mom talking to my friends um having conversations with myself these are the things that i came up with that is going to help me get out of that cycle after decades of self-hate and not loving me right so the first thing I said is to look into the mirror and smile at the person who's in front of you. Oftentimes we don't even take the time to appreciate who we are. I found myself walking in a mirror the other past the mirror the other day and it was like yeah, checking my outfit. But then I was looking at myself, I was like, yeah. <laughs> Sis, you bad. <laughs> And the fact that you're looking for other people to tell you that is a problem because I should be telling myself this on a regular basis. It's nice to hear from other people, but until I believe it and I see it myself, it don't really hold no weight and or it holds weight because I'm going to keep expecting it from other people. You feel me? So like I need to talk positivity and big up myself on a regular basis, eh? Number two for me is to be nice to myself. I am my best friend. Instead of looking at other people to kind of like fill in those shoes and um, I beat myself up expecting other people to lift me up, reverse that. I What I'm looking, like they always say, what you're looking from other people, you should be doing to yourself freely. That sounded really um, wonky, but I think y'all understand what I'm talking about. Um, my best friend should just be me. Um, and then whatever I want to do for myself, to whatever I want to do in life, I should be able to do by myself and, and, and not expect those things from other people. And uh, like, honestly, and a lot of people might shame me for it, but it's just my truth. I've done that for a very long time, honestly. Number three is to be my biggest hype man. Like I have imposter syndrome a lot. And sometimes I, I don't, not sometimes, majority of the time, I don't realize like who I am, who my worth is, the impact that I've given all these eight plus years on social media um when people talk to me about it i'm just looking at them like mm, i i don't see what y'all talking about but thank you um yeah i just have these little bit of fans uh not fans but a little bit of uh, family members supporters tag lily squad and like i don't know what y'all see but i'll see it and that's not cool like in order to get to where i want to get to i have to believe in myself like i can't just be looking at other people to be hyping me up all the time that's draining on them they got their own life they gotta help they hype themselves up you feel me i should be my biggest cheerleader like of course i got my moms duh and my grams you know what i'm saying those are my biggest cheerleaders but like i should be number one a cheerleader for myself and not looking for it elsewhere number four is to change my hair and my attitude and when i say that it's more so of like taking care of myself uh, oftentimes 
when you're feeling bad about yourself you look bad too but if you take the necessary steps just to like fix your hair spray your hair style it a little bit um your attitude kind your attitude changes and amplifies because you're just you have a little bit more pep to your step i find that every time even if i'm not doing nothing i find that every time i get up i work out i take my shower instead of just like put on regular clothes and like chilling me actually like taking the time to take care of my face and taking the time to like lotion my skin and put on my smell goods and like put on something not, like not super nice but like put on something like presentable like if somebody invited me out or if I decided I want to go somewhere I could just be like okay well yeah I'm in a casual gear I got you let's go I feel like once you present yourself for yourself your attitude changes if you already feel like crap and then you look like crap honestly that's probably gonna be how you the rest of your day or your mindset is gonna go um number five i have maintained hair nails and skin i talked about skincare before looking good feel good but also like i do nails from time to time like acrylics but not all the time because uh they break too easily for me for all the money that you have to spend it just don't make no sense to me sometimes i want to feel a little girly so i but as far as my toesy woesies, I need to step up and do that on a regular basis because I just feel like when they are done, I feel like an angel just like floating. And then I look at my pretty toes and I'm like, yo, yes, foot model. You can't see it now, but like, it just makes me feel so much good about myself. As, and then when I get do my hair, so like right now, it's not even like retwisted at the root. All I did was color wash and put some curls in it. But just, it looks, it just looks good, right? And I just feel more confident in myself. I feel more put together. I feel like I look good. I look good. Number six is a big one for me. And I realize that I'm kind of a control freak. And number six is to embrace things that I cannot change. I stress over things that I cannot change. I try to change things as best as I can. And I just need to, like more in London said in that Jay Petty uh, in her, in her uh, podcast, she said, you just have to go with the, let the, what she said, I'm paraphrasing, but basically she just said, let things go. And you just have to let the wind go and flow how it flows. Like you just have to let God handle your life and things around you. Like you can't control those things. You, I can't control people. I can't control like if I'm gonna lose a job or I can't, I can't control none of this stuff, right? And instead of stressing about it, just embrace it and run with the the river flow. I'm gonna put the clip up because I feel like I'm butchering what she said, but it was very profound. I really, it really resonated with me when she said it. I was just like, no facts. I feel like once I let go and I just embrace things that I cannot change and I understand and just focus on things that I can, I will be much more happier and much more stress-free because I'm not worried about things that I just can't control, simple and plain. Like I'm literally not worried. Like I, it's hard, it's easier said than done, especially because your mind has been programmed for this whole time. But that's definitely something that I need to do because it definitely stresses me out when things don't go the way that I want them to go or people don't think that I, like it just stresses me out. Number seven, is to uh, which I already know is to surround myself with positive people. I remember once I I made a prayer to God and I said, God, I don't like to be. I'm an extrovert, and because of COVID, I've learned to be by myself and be okay with it. But for a while, like I don't like being by myself. Like I always got to be around somebody. 
And I remember asking God, listen, I don't want to have the same cycle with friends. I don't want to have the same cycle in relationships of any kind. Please remove the people who are not meant to be in my life. And don't remove them in like a drastic, never coming back, like life type way. Just like we go our separate ways and there's no hate or anything like that and when I tell you I was just noticing why don't I hear from this person no more where this person went da, 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 da. and then I was like well you asked nah <laughs> you asked and he told you so that created like a handful of literally a handful of people for me now and a handful for me is about five. You know what I'm saying? And that and that's not even my family, you know? So, because if my family would be more. But, like, people just started dropping. And, yes, it was hard for me because I felt myself being, like, more alone. And, like, feeling, like, left out of stuff and things of that nature. But, ultimately, it made me realize that yeah it was probably best that you were no longer in my life anymore and though it sucks and I still sometimes with some people I would like to know like what happened that like you just kind of disappeared but I'm I'm okay with it now like I'm good with it now I'm actually good so I'm more intentional with the people that I bring into my life and into my bubble. Like I'm very intentional about my energy now. I wasn't before, but I'm very into it because I feel like a part of me has some kind of empath in me and people's energy transfers through me. And I don't, I just don't want it. I just don't want it. Cause then it goes on to other people who don't even deserve it. You feel me? So yeah, that's a big, big thing for me last but not least oh diet dr pepper the only di diet soda that tastes fire the only one other than that nope so the last and last one but certainly not least and for me the most important is number eight to put myself first that's very self-explanatory but like i told you for me for a majority of my ad not even adult high school adult life I've put people before me in every aspect every aspect uh, when it comes to my job like missing days because something happened with somebody else like if I was in a relationship and a person was just fighting 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 I, I didn't go to work so I could try to figure that out. Dumb. Um, if somebody asked me to ride with them to go meet up with somebody because the person disrespected them or something, I ain't got nothing to do with it. It's called loyalty, but then there's certain things that you don't need to be involved in. I wasn't worried about my safety or anything. Went dumb. This is just over the... The couple decades of my life I just have a lot of things that I could say that I've done that I did for other people and not not at all for myself and um, like I said in the beginning of this video I had a, a hard conversation with myself on my birthday which is kind of strange that you have it on your birthday but I guess that's when I felt compelled to do it um, it was just it was just an aha moment for me, you feel me? Because I know what I deserve. I know what I can give to this world in a positive way. And I know what I can do. And if I don't believe in myself or put myself first and focus about what other people are saying, doing, or how they're living their life and stuff like that and not necessarily focusing on myself I will continue to be put put myself in these sort of cycles and nothing is going to change so with that being said those are my eight ways that 
I how I'm going to love myself after years, <laughs> decades of self hate and self deprecation. If you guys feel me on anything that I said, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Please comment below um, if you've ever had this, if you have any tips to help your girl out. If you enjoy videos like this and you want to see more, leave it in the comment box below what type of videos you want. Um, yeah, this journey of just being self, this era of just being selfish and loving on myself more and putting myself first and just doing everything I need to do to just love me and be happy with the person I see in the mirror. Um, I'm excited, nervous, and a little scared about it. Um, I don't know why, but I guess I'll figure that out on the journey. Um, once again, I thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much for the birthday wishes. Uh, Gemini squad, gang gang. So, y'all know I be doing this, right? My boyfriend said that's Houston. No offense to Houston people, but like, that's like Tiger and Squad gang gang. Like, how I'm gonna switch it up now? But, see you later, Tiger Lilies, too. <laughs> uh, crash course. Let me hide the money in the dashboard. Max mad, could you lost the brick inside the Porsche? Goofy with